Take me back to the nights we felt alive Picking up the pieces on a summer night I didn't know that I would feel just like my heart's on fire Whenever I'm with you Cause we go back in time to thrills I miss And all the things I wish we did All I know is that I need somebody like you Cause I can't waste another night sitting here alone Hoping for your voice on the telephone I know it's a super cut as you walk away Playing in my mind all the things I'd never close my eyes And the skies are on fire I can't waste another night sitting here alone We can do it all again and I'll never let you go Back to another sunrise Back when all I ever needed was by my side You're a star brighter than Venus I'm your satellite Whenever I'm with you Cause we go back in time to thrills I miss And all the things I wish we did All I know is that I need somebody like you Cause I can't waste another night sitting here alone Hoping for your voice on the telephone I know it's a super cut as you walk away Playing in my mind all the things I never close my eyes And the sky's on fire I can't waste another night sitting here alone We can't do it all again and I'll never let you go
Today to witness the joining in holy matrimony, Christina Diaz and Servant Bob. Please bow your heads and join me for prayer. Father, we bless this union. We pray your favor and blessings. What you have united, let no man separate. Father, we thank you for your word declares that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Riches are an inheritance of the Father, but a good wife, inheritance from God. Father, we thank you because this was already predestined, preordained. Lord, and we thank you, God, for this union. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Sir, when you can look at your bride to be... <laughs> Christina, you can look at your husband to be. What a joy this day. What an excitement. We've all been waiting for this day. Everyone say amen. amen. We've been waiting for this day. Amen. amen. What is marriage? According to the book of Genesis, chapter 2, it says, The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him now the lord god had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and the birds in the sky he brought them to man to see what he would name them and whatever the man called each living creature that was its name so the man gave names to all the livestock the birds in the sky and all the wild animals but for adam and today but for surin there was no suitable helper 
So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man. And he brought her to the man. The man said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Sherman and his wife, Christina, were both naked and not ashamed. That is the Pastor A.M. translation. No, you're too holy for me. Okay. <laughs> one thing that is to be observed is that man was created from the dust, but woman was created from the bone. She is refined. It is important to notice that if you give a woman a house, she will make you a home. No sisters in the house? If you give her money, meaning your wallet, she will make you wealthy. And if you give her your heart, she will make you happy for the rest of your life. The woman was created to be the crown. The Bible says in the book of Corinthians, for a man indeed ought not to cover his head, since he is the image and glory of God. But woman is the glory of man. For man is not from woman, but woman from man. Nor was man created for the woman, but woman for the man. What is it that the Bible is trying to say? Don't show her off as a trophy. Show her off as your reward, as your gift from God. Notice that the Bible says in the book of Genesis that Adam was put to sleep. And I started to question, why would God put to sleep Adam, making him a helper? suitable for it is not good for men to be alone you know why she put him to sleep why god put him to sleep was because he couldn't mess it up praise god i want you to understand servant today you can rest the sword that this woman will not give you no pain no grief no worry because it was already in god's plan so today god gives you rest he takes the woman from the rib. The rib is from the side to be equal to him. Under his arm to be protected. And out of the rib to be near to his heart to be protected. Amen. I'm sorry, I'm a pastor, so if I get churchy, you forgive me. Notice that Adam lost a rib but there was no scar to sow, but he gained a wife. Just like Christ on the cross was pierced on his side, but gained the bride, the church. Now you guys will look to each other, as you are right now, into your souls. I want you guys to make these promises. We'll start we're serving first. Servant, do you take Christina Diaz to be your wife? I do. To live together in the covenant of marriage? Yes, I do. You, can you say a little louder? We can't hear you. Yes, I do. Thank you. Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking others, being faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. Christina. Do you take Sherwin Bob to be your husband? I do. I do. Thank you. <laughs> They're a little nervous, forgive them. Yeah. To live together in the covenant of marriage, do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Amen. In the book of Corinthians chapter 13, it says, what is love? Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. It's not provoked. 
thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. And that is what we are praying for this marriage. That it won't be a statistic, it won't be just another marriage, but this is foreordained. What God has united, let no man separate. We're gonna have the exchange of rings. Do you have the rings? Before we give it to them, can I just have it? Oh, you have both? Oh, yeah. Wow, they trust you, they gave you both rings. <laughs> <laughs> the rings symbolize their commitment. The wearing of the rings is a visible outward sign that they have committed themselves to one another. Rings are derived from humble beginnings of imperfect metal to create something striking where there was once nothing at all. It is customarily worn on the ring finger as it is the only finger with a ring running directly to the heart. Just as the circle has no end, just like your wedding or your union will be unto death do us apart. I give you the honor of giving them back the rings. Father, we thank you. Lord, and we present these rings as a symbol, God. Lord, of the union of today's matrimony. God, that you give them the strength, the ability, and the endurance, God, to persevere with all things said, God. Lord, we give you the glory and we give you the honor. And we present them unto you and we consecrate them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You can give it to the groom and the bride. All right, Christina, you will go first. Christina, will you place the ring on servant's finger and repeat after me? That's the wrong hand. <laughs> now I'm joking. I'm joking. Church doesn't have to be born, right? Amen. Praise God. Sherwin, I give you this ring. Sherwin, I give you this ring. As a sign that I choose you. As a sign that I choose you. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I will always love you. That I will always love you. Though I will fail and fall. I will fail and fall. May this ring stand. May this ring stand. As a reminder. As a reminder. That I will stay faithful. That I will stay faithful. As Jesus. As Jesus. Has been faithful. Has been faithful. To us. To us. All right, sir. It's your turn. Will you place the ring on Christina's finger? You're shaking, dear. <laughs> Repeat after me. Christina. Christina. I give this ring to you. I give this ring to you. As a sign. As a sign. That I choose you. That I choose you. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I will always love you. That I will always love you. Though I will fail and fall. Though I may fail or fall. May this ring. May this ring. Stand as a reminder. Stand as a reminder. That I will stay faithful. That I will stay faithful. As Jesus has been faithful to us. As Jesus has been faithful to us. Matthew 19, 6 declares, Therefore what God has joined together, let no man separate. Let us pray. If you can extend your hands this way, please. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for this matrimony. We thank you for this union. Lord, and as your word has been declared, Father, we pray blessings over blessings over the union. Let them be fruitful and multiply, God. Let them lack nothing, God. We pray a double portion, God. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask that you put a heads of covering over their lives, Father God, over their union, Lord. Lord, and that from this day forward, God, Lord, as they be one, may they be one with you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. We do have some candles here, and we will do the candle ceremony. You can grab one of the candles. Sir, when you can grab the other candle. And before you light them up, the candle ceremony. At this time, we will be lighting what is the unity candle. Before the bride and groom come forward to light their wedding candle, 
allow me to explain the symbolism behind these candles. The two outside candles have been lit to symbolize the union of these two young people. The two families from which they come from. The bride and the groom will light the center candle from the other two and one shall remain. One candle for each of them, one candle for the unity of their new family and as symbols of their commitment to each other and to their lasting and loving marriage. Bride and groom, please light your candle. Okay. Thank you. All right, you can look at each other. Get your cameras ready. All right. My name is Pastor Angel Muniz, and by the power vested in me, by the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife, servant, you may kiss your bride. It is my great honor and privilege to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Bob. God bless you. Christina and Sherwin and their families, we'd like to welcome each and every one of you here this evening on such a joyous celebration. 
My name is Armando, representing Intense Entertainment, and I'll be your MC and entertainer here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, are you guys ready to have a good time? You guys aren't ready for this. I think you guys can do better than that. Come on, are we ready to have a good time? Much better. Ladies and gentlemen, I have some very special people I'd like for you to introduce to you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Christina's mother, Miss Jeanette Sosa, being accompanied by David Gonzalez. Make some noise. Let's welcome Christina's dad, Mr. Rigoberto Diaz. Let's welcome Sherwin's mother, Miss Annette Shepard, being accompanied by her husband, Mr. John Shepard. Let's put our hands together for our fabulous bridal party. Let's give it up for Sabrina and Gabriel. Let's welcome Diamond and Anthony. Let's show some love to our flower girl in Greenboro. Let's welcome Kaylin and Jaden. Let's make some noise for our matron of honor and one of our best men, Charity and Anthony. Let's show some love to our maids of honor, both of them, and our best men. One of our best men, Josie, Victoria, being accompanied by Nakia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. The reason why we are here celebrating tonight August 29th, 2020. Let's make some noise, ladies and gentlemen, for our bride and groom. Let's welcome, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Sherwin and Christina Bob. Make some noise. And now, just like that, Mr. and Mrs. Sherwin and Christina Bob will share 
Ladies and gentlemen, as husband and wife, their first dance. Mr. Rigoberto Diaz and invite him to bring out his daughter to the dance floor. We're making new memories this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give him a big round of applause. I swear I'd steal them all tonight 
Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful moment. And now, Sherwin and his mother, Miss Annette Shepard, will share their special moment. Let's give them a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful moment. Making memories, making memories. 
you guys all here to share this special moment. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated as our matron of honor, maid of honor, and best men, they get ready to have some special words for our bride and groom. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, I wanna say thank you for coming out to my best friend's wedding. Um, I've never been more proud of her, honestly. Um, she has shown me a lot uh, within all these years of being best friends in second grade. Um, I can really say that she's in love with Sherwin and it shows so much, you know. Um, take care of my best friend. I love you. <laughs> Christina since the fourth grade, so it's been a long time. Um, thank you for everything. You are strong, you are smart, you are kind. I just thank you for being there for me as I'm there for you. Whenever you need me, I'm here. I love you to the day that I die. How you guys doing? I want to wish you the best, man. You have come a long journey. I hope to see you succeed, man. Watch you succeed. You have become a great father, and I wish to see more. You have a lovely wife, and I wish you guys much prosperity in the future. I love you guys. Man, it's crazy. I haven't even known y'all for that long. It's only been four years, but they both came back into my life at a time when I really needed support. And that way above and beyond, and I've always just tried to give back and you know, whatever y'all needed. But to watch y'all in y'all journey to this moment, it's been a blessing, it truly has. And to just be a part of this, uh, I can't ask for anything more. Uh, whatever y'all need, you know I got, you know. I wish y'all the best of luck and hope to see y'all old and gray with many gray kids. <laughs> there definitely many more children and I'll be a father that old. They have that girl.
Single ladies, are we ready? I don't hear you. All right, Christina, it's all yours. One, two, three. Whoa, what a catch. What a catch. What a catch. That was a catch, fourth down, three seconds left to the game, in the end zone for a touchdown. What's your name? Janae, what a catch. That'll be on ESPN tonight. <laughs> All right, Sherwin. Christina, you know, Sherwin's, he's had a tough day, right, Sherwin? I'm sure you woke up early to see me this morning, right? This is all you, Sherwin. Are you ready for this? I know there was a ceremony, but you forgot about this part, right? All right, Christina, do you want his jacket on or jacket off? All right. Now, do you want Sherwin to get on his knees? Yes or no? I'm sorry, Sherwin. They're waiting for you. Ladies, yours. Congratulations, Sherwin.